Zelensky plans visit to France to ask NATO to shoot down Russian missiles over Ukraine. President Volodymyr Zelensky plans to attend June's D-Day commemorations in France, followed by a G7 meeting in Italy, where he will ask Ukraine's partners to shoot down Russian missiles over Ukraine, provide more assistance to Ukraine's armed forces and seize Russian assets. Politico reported this, citing two people familiar with the president's plans. The Ukrainian president's schedule could always change, both people emphasized. But if all goes to plan, Zelensky is expected to use this trip to call, as he has in recent interviews, for more military support from the West and ask for NATO to shoot down Russian missiles like the United States and the United Kingdom did when Iran attacked Israel. Zelensky will also demand that the US and European countries seize Russian assets to help fund Ukraine's defense and eventual reconstruction, Politico reported. The newspaper notes that Zelensky's plans are particularly noteworthy as he has recently cancelled foreign trips because Russia launched a large-scale offensive in Kharkiv Oblast. Ukraine is also in desperate need of continued support and global attention, and the trip would give him time with world leaders, including President Joe Biden, to plead his nation's case. Politico wrote, Zelensky plans to travel to Italy for the G7 summit after he visits France. The newspaper recalls that for months, members of the group have been debating the feasibility of using hundreds of billions of seized Russian assets to strengthen Ukraine's defense and economy, citing legal difficulties and fears that Moscow could do the same to Western countries. The United States and the United Kingdom have strongly supported the idea, while some European members, such as Germany, are more skeptical. The issue roiled an earlier G7 meeting of finance ministers where European Central Bank chief Christine Lagarde argued forcefully against the full seizure of Russian assets to loan to Ukraine. Zelensky would likely use the opportunity with heads of state and governments to try to convince the doubters, Politico concluded. Strong fire broke out at an office building belonging to Danish pharmaceutical company Novo Nordisk on Wednesday. A team of 100 firefighters were involved in extinguishing the massive fire almost three hours after it started. The fire started in a container at a Novo Nordisk construction site and spread to the roof of an adjacent office building also belonging to the company in Bagsverd, north of Copenhagen, Fire Brigade Chief of Operations Martin Smith told AFP. According to local media reports, large plumes of grey smoke could be seen from miles away from the site of the incident. The company said in a statement that the smoke was not toxic, thus there are no injuries. Police advised Copenhagen residents to go indoors and close doors and windows if you are in a smoky area, in a post on X, formerly known as Twitter. This is the second fire at a Novo Nordisk site in past two weeks. Last week, Fire occurred in Kalenborg, another Novo Nordisk site under construction. The fire had no impact on the company's drugs production. It should be noted that Novo Nordisk is the maker of the weight loss drugs Ozempic and Wegovy.